What's up, YouTube? And Confessori here on a beautiful Monday night. Man, yo, it was so humid out here on Long Island over the weekend, and uh, it finally lifted a bit, so it feels really good out here. But my, my hair, I just showered. I just got back from training a little while ago, and my hair's a little fucked up, I'm not gonna lie. Shit gets so curly and turns into like an afro, man. But anyway, um, so today, was the very first day of the Confessori Conditioning 30 Day Lean and Mean Challenge, Volume 2, Season 2, whatever you want to call it, whatever your preference is, don't matter to me, whatever makes you happy, because that's what I care about. I like making, I like making people happy, I like making people laugh, I like making people better, and that's the whole point of this challenge. For those of you guys who aren't following over on Instagram, uh, which you should go do so, because a lot of good shit goes down all there, uh, at ant double underscore confessori over on ig guys but um yeah making people better uh that's what this challenge is about the confessori conditioning 30 day lean and mean challenge um this is the third one of the year well i did a challenge earlier but that wasn't uh named the lean and mean challenge this is the second lean and mean challenge and you know so basically what's involved is for those of you who don't know up on here on youtube i'll catch you up to speed real quick so uh, what's involved is basically it's 30 days to transformation challenge. It's not necessarily weight loss. It's not necessarily to get stronger. It's not, even though the, the name is lean and mean, uh, it's not necessarily specifically just for weight loss. It's a total body transformation challenge. And basically what it entails is 30 days worth of workouts. I do the workouts myself. So these are my exact workouts. This isn't me making a specific program for people to follow based on their experience uh, you know, what they like, what they don't like. No, 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 no. This is specifically 30 days worth of my workouts, me trying to kick the living shit out of myself in the gym, and then putting everyone who's a part of the challenge through it as well. So, uh, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. The response from the first, uh, challenge was, was extremely well, better than I thought. More, more people signed up than I thought. So I said, you know what, fuck it, we're gonna go volume two. We're in the middle of the summer, like, you know, we're all trying to look good without a shirt on. There's no uh, there's no reason to be the person hanging out at the beach or in the pool with a shirt on. It's not what it's made for. We're meant to be comfortable in our own skin. As much as some people think fitness enthusiasts, bodybuilders, athletes, whatever the case is, uh, you know, might think that we're like obsessed with ourselves and our physical ability or our physical being. It's not, it's a misconception. Everyone, everyone should feel comfortable in their own skin, should feel beautiful, uh, handsome, should feel, uh, you know, some type of way, whatever it is, guy, girl, however you feel, that's up to you. But my point is everyone should feel good about themselves and everyone should be confident in their own skin. And um, so, yeah, the Compensatory Conditioning Challenge is just that. It's made to just make people better in 30 days to push you physically, mentally, and, uh, you know, get the most out of yourself. And I like it a lot. Like I said, we're in season two, volume two. Today was the first day. So basically, I do the workouts myself. Uh, so like last week, I did the whole first week of the challenge. And now this week, today started the challenge. So everyone is catching up to me. So I do the workouts first, like I said, and then everyone else does them after. Uh, today for me was actually chest, which I have a love-hate relationship with. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I hate it. Mostly I hate it. It's just a weak muscle group of mine. I've never really been a strong presser. I've always been, um, I've always excelled in hip dominant movements like squats, deadlifts, things like that. So pressing is not my strong point, but I am working at it consistently today. I went for, I did two, I felt pretty good. So I hit 265 on the flat bench for one. Then I went up a little bit, I got 270. So if I took away that 265, my guess is I probably would have been able to get 275 up. It would have been hard, but so that's really kind of where I'm at on, uh, I guess like a one rep kind of, you know, whatever. That's my, I guess that's my one rep right now. Uh, even though I don't really train for strength, I do go for one reps once in a while, just cause it's a great shock to the body. And uh, it's fun. Who doesn't like to just see how much weight they can move for one rep in a certain movement, you know? Um, you know, my goals do more, coincide with bodybuilding you know building an aesthetic physique everything flowing and being balanced and symmetrical but uh, I do you know also like to be strong you know so I try to you know lift as heavy as possible for as many reps as I can and on occasion I go for one rep so 
um, that was today. Tomorrow, I'm going to be rocking deadlifts. I don't do them every week, but I can't sit still. I'm like antsy right now. I know I'm walking all over the place, but uh, yeah, so tomorrow I'm rocking deadlifts. Tomorrow is day two, but yeah, it's okay to suck at things, guys. Like, I'm better at deadlifts than I am bench, but you know, I still try to attack the things that I'm not necessarily great at, and that goes for inside the gym, outside the gym, whatever. It's okay to suck. I suck. You know, relative to squatting and deadlifting, you know, three main lifts. Um, I suck at benching, so it is what it is. You're not going to be great at everything, but that doesn't mean that you don't try uh, to be as, you know, to be the best that you can in whatever it is you're doing. But that's it for me, guys. I just wanted to hop on here real quick, give you guys an update for anyone following. Because like I said, I promise you guys I'd be doing these raw, unedited videos more frequently and save some of the other stuff for my boy Dustin who helps me out in the, inside the gym. So I'll get one of these compensatory conditioning challenge workouts up on the YouTube for you guys sometime this week or next week. I'm not sure when, but anyway, I hope you guys appreciate this video. If you did and you'd like me, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.